I want to say a bipartisan approach is the best approach for now. We want to see it work. We want to wish it all the best. We want to see it work. That's my reputation. Let it work. Let it not, let it not be just a talk. We are not going to just talk for no reason. We are not just going to chat around and laugh about. It's a serious matter. So the bipartisan approach should work and ought to work. And we are looking forward to seeing that it succeeds. We will support it and the agenda that is set should be agenda that will help the whole nation. We are not talking about an agenda that benefits only one or two people. It's about the country. It's about initiating issues that Azimio has been craving for. We've been craving for certain issues. The high cost of prices has gone up, of, of products have gone up and people are poor. People cannot afford school fees. That's why today it was very important because of high cost of school fees. Many parents can't afford. We are talking about food, lack of food in many homes, no fuel, and so on and so forth. People are living below poverty line. It's a big, big issue, and we need to bring that down. We are talking about IEBC. Azimio has been talking about how IEBC will be um, uh, members of IEBC will be appointed and how we can participate on equal <coughs> terms. And I think that's critical because it's about a commission that's going to champion elections of 2027 and the future. We have to put in place good laws that are fair to all. That is one area that has been a problem for a long, long time and has to be addressed in this bipartisan uh, affair. We are talking about opening the server and many others. We just want to wish the country all the best. We are only saying we want peace, love and unity. Where there is peace, there is progress. And I want to take this opportunity also to remind our leaders to watch out on the things that they say to the public. They speak publicly, very rudely and very sarcastically and threateningly. They spew very, very hateful um, statements that can set people against each other. I'm also one of those people who's, who's very, very peaceful. And if you are a responsible person, please mind your language. Language is very, very important. How you address the public, how you talk, how you respond, let it be friendly, let it be um, fair, let it give you some kind of uh, sanity. Look like a leader, not like a thug. Thank you. As a church leader and as a clergy, you are very happy for what took place the other day, that uh, ceasefire which came about between the president and the opposition leader, and we are praying that it will not be cosmetic. We are praying for the leaders to be very serious, because we have seen the number of times, the three times people have gone on the rampage, it was not peaceful. Some people, some goons took advantage. We are seeing properties being destroyed. We are seeing innocent people being tear gassed, and some even dying. We have seen, even at Maseno here, a very innocent student, university student being shot dead. We don't want such scenarios. We are praying that our leaders, the president, Wanaruto, and the opposition leader, Banaraela, to take the country at heart and have meaningful uh, talk, talk so that this country can be peaceful. But we are also calling for justice. This issue of the server, we don't know why it is so difficult for it to be opened, for all to see and to verify so that the truth can come out. We are praying that they let them be, be, be open enough because as clergy we are finding it very difficult. If the opposition is crying that the server should be opened, why don't they open it once and for all so that the truth can come out? And we'll be, we also as a clergy will also tell those who are bickering to stop it.
so that the country can be, be can have peace.